So I typically try to sequence them. And there's some some sets of data that to keep in mind. There's a data set for Memorial Sloan Kettering suggesting that patients that are BRCA2 positive um, may not have as big a benefit uh, for, from CDK4-6 inhibitors. So it seems that CDK4-6 inhibitors may be, uh, or the cancer is resistant to these drugs. And so I wouldn't rely on a CDK4-6 inhibitor for these patients. Huh, for BRCA2. Um, so, yeah, so practically, uh, uh, and if you see in the metastatic setting, these patients, you're not going to get a median PFS of two, three, four years. You're probably going to get a me median PFS of one or so years because this disease tends to be kind of resistant. Um, now, if you look at the criteria for the for monarchy, patients could have had a delay in starting a bemocyclic, and this kind of gives us the way to sequence these drugs. So what I do is I give a lap rate for the year. And then I will give them a bemocyclic for another two years. Hmm. 